The only thing stronger than love is guilt. Guilt, guilt, guilt. Keep watching to find out what book we're talking about today. Hey y'all, it's Kyla Denango, and today we are talking all about love and guilt and relationships, okay? So today we're talking about the book, Before I Let Go. The author of the book is Kennedy Ryan. The genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is African-American literature, okay? So I've been hearing a lot about this book and I love the cover. I had to pick it up and read it. I was like, it's given Afro goddess goodness. So you start reading it and it's the story of Yasmin and Josiah. And you're reading it and you're like, oh, they're so cute. Oh, okay, they fell in love, oh, okay. But I gotta tell you, the book starts with a disclosure hey, I reached out to people who've gone through these things. I tried to present these things in the, the most caring way. So I'm already waiting for some big trauma, right? No one told me to read this book, so I had no idea what it was about, but I'm like, okay, I'm already anticipating some big trauma. And there was, and it was heartbreaking. But I will tell you this, love is stronger than guilt. Guilt seems like it's way stronger and it will keep you up all night and it'll give you all the stuff. But love is stronger, okay? So Yasmin and Josiah started this restaurant. They have all this guilt, all this debt, and the whole story is about how they survived this momentous thing, the restaurant almost closing and creating a family, being together, and then life keeps happening to them. And it's like, man, can, when is it my turn to be out of it? Well, Yasmin had to realize that's not really the case. That's not how life works, right? Life is gonna keep hitting you as long as you're alive. And so she has to realize, okay, is my love gonna be stronger than the guilt? The guilt of being hurt, the guilt of my expectations not being met, the guilt of not being as happy with the things that she thought she wanted. Marriage is not a guarantee that you were just happy forever and just walking off into the sunset together. Marriage is a commitment and you involving the government in your relationship, okay? That's what marriage is. And Ken and Mary completely bypassed everything that Yasmin was thinking about, right? I mean, we get to hear from Josiah and he was really enjoying that meeting as well, but it really, really impacted Yasmin. And I really like to see that because it was really unexpected. Here they come in to support the two of them and look differently, live in a different city, have different family structure obsessed with each other. <laughs> this book is absolutely beautiful and I would describe it as beautiful because beauty doesn't have to be all about roses and sunshines and you know unicorns. The story, the truth of the story was a great look at marriage, a great look at relationships, a great look at family, right? There are a couple of chapters in the book where I cannot stand Yasmin. There's a layer of guilt that's involved with Yasmin and the way that she parents as well because her heart was broken when their expectations for their life changed and it took her a really long time to get out of that and it's nobody's fault the circumstances happened it was hit after hit after hit and she wasn't quite sure how to deal and i believe that kennedy ryan presents her in a way that she handled it as best she could at that time Pick it up and give it a read because it is a phenomenal book, all right? Absolutely great. And yes, I would definitely read it again, okay? So if you enjoy this review, I know you will love this book here. This one is all about parenting, all about motherhood. And let me say, the friend of this book has a comment from Colleen Hoover, real, raw, magnificent. And this next review is a book by Colleen Hoover, all right? So I'll see you in the next one.